Hi everybody, welcome back to No Control RC. I'm at work today, my beer's boiling away, I got a little bit of time. I went out and swept the sidewalk off by the brewery, set a few cameras up. We're gonna make some hits with our Lozy 116 scale Chevelle drag car and see how good it is out on concrete. So the batteries are charged. Let's get to it. I'm curious to see how powerful this little car is. I tried to do some burnouts inside on the tile. It did it for a little bit. Then the tires got hot and it just whop. Welcome back. You saw some hits on some concrete sidewalk. It was swept off. Nothing cleaned or prepped extravagant or anything like that. Um, I like the car. I'm not the best drag race driver in the world. And it took me a little bit to get the car to go straight under the power. But there's plenty of people that won't have an issue dialing it in. I, I'm just not the best drag racer and I'll admit that. A um, few things about the car I wish they would have done differently is the controller. I wish it had a flat bottom because it does that. Whenever I set it down, I'm I'm not thinking um, about setting it on the side. I'm thinking about setting it down straight like I do with all my other controllers. Um, the car is a little light on power when you're doing burnouts, but you may just need to find a different way or take some pressure off the back. Um, the tires do get super sticky and start grabbing. I was able to lay some rubber patches on the tile floor. Um, but nothing out on the concrete. Um, this, I think, if you can get people to buy in it, and not mess with the cars a whole lot and do like a factory stock class, it would be a really fun way to race. Um, cheap way to intro drag racing could be a really big class. I don't know. That's just my thought. Thank you for watching. We always appreciate it here at No Control. And if you like and subscribe, that really helps us out with YouTube. So thank you. Thank <laughs> you.